I think Mark Lanell would have been saying, you're the referee, you're the one that absolutely calls the shots out there. I don't like the way West Brown's hobbling off here. Uh, that's not good at all. So Sunderland is going to defend this corner without him. And it's come to M. Mace, who has uh, failed to connect meaningfully at all. Michael Turner is preparing to come on, but Sunderland without him can uh, touch forward here with McLean, who's coming in for Fraser Carrier! Dream goal! Dream goal! 500 days without first team football! Fraser Carrier is back with a bang! And Sunderland the level! Amazing, from the Middlesbrough corner that. After seeing West Brown hobble off, Middlesbrough had the chance to put something in the box. But let's credit the home team for their intent. The way they countered, Barry Robson, despite scoring a stunning goal, has made a horrible basic mistake here for his team. Look, he's looking to go back. The ball doesn't get there. It's never getting there. Now it's about whether Rob McLean picks the right pass. Does he go left? Does he go right? He picks the right pass because he goes to Fraser Campbell, who he burst into the middle of the field. And he doesn't rush it. He controls that. He side foots it. He powers Punches it past Danny Corn into the corner of the goal. Brilliant counter attacking movement, they're back in the game with 10 men to uh, the despair of Barry Watson, who uh, has had a day one way or another, he's not going to forget. But you have to feel so happy for Fraser Campbell, who scores his first first team goal since the 17th of April 2010, 652 days ago. His only previous goals in the FA Cup came in the third round of January 2010 against Barrow. And now he has scored in the local derby.